So I am Luigi Aloia. I work as a postdoc in laboratory of Mary Hook at the Gordon Institute in Cambridge. I work on liver regeneration and I use 3D organoid structure as a main uh, model of my research. Our goal is to improve the current therapy and the current approach to liver regeneration by understanding the basic molecular mechanisms behind it. Organoid uh, research offers the possibility of studying um, regeneration in a dish in a very high complexity because the 3D culture allows very high complexity uh, structure and I think they held a huge promise for personalized medicine and therapy. But the main, the main tip is thinking in a, in a, in a three-dimensional uh, way. So when you work with 2D culture, you see yourself in the plastic and then you see them growing in a, in a, in a monolayer. Whereas with the, with the organoids, you can uh, really follow the organization of the structure in a three-dimensional uh, way. And this is an important switch in, in your mind as a, as a researcher because give you um, a more complex idea of how the tissue is formed, is maintained and uh, repaired after injury. I think in the last few years, um, organic cultures have improved a lot. So people, so researchers, are trying to uh, optimize the culture condition and to, to obtain better performance of the, of the culture in vitro and also in vivo when you transplant the culture, for instance, in, in animal, animal models. And also there's a huge uh, effort now, the field, of understanding the molecular mechanism behind this uh, culture system that will also help in understanding the molecular mechanism responsible for the um, tissue homeostasis and repair upon injury. Probably I consider very relevant, I mean, the work in the, in the Clevers lab in the Netherlands. There is a bunch of endodermal derived uh, organoids uh, from uh, endodermal derived uh, tissue and organs. And this proves that both um, highly self-renewing organs and very slowly self-renewing organs, such as the liver, the organ I work with, they can give rise to organoid culture. So we can study an organ in, in, in a dish. I also have to mention the Lab of Knowledge in, uh, in Vienna, where they establish these uh, brain organoids, which is then followed um, by Madeleine Lancaster here, here in Cambridge. So in this, in this very moment, Cambridge is an important hub for organoid uh, cultures. I think organoids held the huge promise for uh, uh, personalized medicine and for improving the current therapies in several diseases, including cancer. And so I'm convinced that through the organoids we will learn more about the tissues, the homeostasis and the injury and the disease, and then we will be able to implement better therapies and better approaches.